Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, what you see happening here is I've asked it to create a blockchain for me, and I'm using ChatGPT first, which did it a lot faster than this one. And this one, you know how normally it stops. Um, and so I'm using ChatGPT to create the code. Then I put the code in here, and I asked it to add other features that it suggests are missing. And so then I put it back in here and asked them to incorporate those other features. And then I'm going to put it back in here and ask it to compare the two. See how it stops? Okay, so I'm not going to... Yeah, we'll do continue. Watch this. Hold on. TikTok. Hold on. I could have just hit copy code. Copy. Wake up. Can you take a look at this code and tell me what is the comparisons between the one you provided and this one? Comma. Which one would be better for the parameters that I gave you? And could you show me what the code would look like if we incorporated all of the features of both codes by creating a new code incorporating those features? question mark stop listening now as you see what I'm doing here chat GPT is in my opinion not as good as Bard but utilizing both of them and I know that I am one of the first to do that to do exactly what you see going on here to make sure my answers are more definitive now I've been going back and forth with both of them especially talking about the Banking Relief Act okay and let's uh, go down here because he's already finished, okay? So what he says is, sure, I can compare the two codes and show you how to incorporate all the features of both codes by creating a new code incorporating those features. First, the code is a basic blockchain implementation that uses proof of work, consensus, and then we have the smart contract and all of that stuff in there. He says the first code is simpler to implement but it also has less, it's less secure. The second code is more secure, but it is also more complex to implement. To incorporate the features of both codes into a new code, you could use the following steps. Create a new class of inherent blockchain class, add features to the blockchain, and test the code. Here's an example of how to incorporate all the features. Okay, now we have the example and it appears that they did finish. Um, ChatGPT did finish. So watch this. But we're going to go to ChatGPT and get a stronger code. I'm going to go to this ChatGPT because it is important. And we're going to use the regular ChatGPT. Wake up. Wake up. I have this blockchain code that I'm needing to add more security to the code. Add. Comma. Can you assist me with implementing features you think might be necessary in this code? Question mark. Stop listening. Okay. And there we go. Sure. Stronger hash function, blah, blah, blah. And look at what it says. Now watch this. Come on, hurry up. And look at what it's done here. Okay, now watch this. I'm going to copy what it's suggesting that I add. Now, there are two important things that you should note here. I let it do that instead of producing the code. Watch this. Wake up. Wake up. Could you demonstrate what the code would look like? Question mark. 
stop listening and it's gonna do that there how you do that there and then we're gonna go here could you implement the following wake up I'm trying to get rid of that right there. Wake up. Could you implement the following into the code you listed above? Question mark. So that it will be functional? Question mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, as I said before, this is what I've been waiting on for over 30 years, and it's technically almost 40 years that I've been waiting for this right here. And what I am looking for is not this. He didn't do it. Um, he says, sure, I can implement the features. Now watch this. I need you to show me what the code wake up I need you to show me what the completed code would look like under the aforementioned parameters question mark stop listening stop listening And then I wait for him, and then I go back here to this one, and he's completed a code. Now, this is not complete. You see how he stops again? So we're going to go up and up and up. Well, I'll just go to the top since it wants to go so slow. Uh, okay, nope. Notice what he did. He did two sections. So this is the public key. And this is the top portion. Yep, this is the top portion. Okay, copy. And then we go over here. And this is the last one, ladies and gentlemen. I won't be asking any other questions aside from this. But he completes the code. Wake up. What do you think of this? Question mark. And could you incorporate this into the code you've just produced? So that I could have a more efficient and more secure code and could you add any other features you think might be necessary for completing this code for deployment question mark stop listening ladies and gentlemen that's the last question I'm gonna ask in this tutorial I just need you all to understand something. There are many people doing videos, and I'm not comparing myself to any of them because all of their videos are just as important. I just wish, honestly, that individuals would do things like this, that they will show you things like this so that you will see what your imagination could do. Now, um, no, it tells me what I could do wake up could you demonstrate the code question mark under the parameters you've noted above stop listening and you notice how his response is not as abrasive as chat GPT so that's why I like the Google one that it, the answers are quicker even though you see it's but it's just BAM there you go but this is not the complete code okay so the code is created a network and wallet a transaction blah 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 wake up now can you combine all of it into one code so that everything is complete comma the blockchain and the 
transaction section for up to 100 units of currency from wallet A to wallet B and wallet C if necessary. Wallet C. Wallet Wallet Comma That would be very appreciated. Stop listening. I didn't know I was going to give those answers other than that that original one would have been the last question, but that's what you all are going to run into and hopefully this helps you to understand what you might run into and will help to alleviate your lacking of understanding. See, Okay, I see. Okay, now watch this. I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to copy because it doesn't know what I'm asking. Um, because I'm not asking it in a terminology that it, it would, ex that it, 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 sorry, that it would expect. And I should have implemented that right there. So. Let's put that down there. And then we go back and we take the last code that he did, not the code that he just did, but the last completed code that he did. And we go here and we go, not there, not there. Cause I forgot to take some things out um, right here. I forgot to take that out. And so this is the one that I need to add. This is the code that I was asking it to add everything to. So what we're gonna do is we're going to get to our completed code without me having to know anything about coding. Okay, that's what this is about. Yes, this is why they were saying it was gonna put coders out of business. I, I now understand it. This is what people were afraid of. But again, this is me utilizing this system to complete what I need to complete. Now I come up here to the top. Wake up. Here is a code that I have put together. Comma, can you show me how this might be better implemented question mark stop listening it looks like the code I provided is incomplete and it contains a syntax error however here are some suggestions now you see this right here, the very same thing. I'm gonna go up and copy. And then I'm gonna come back here to Bard and I'm gonna put the same thing in here. I'm gonna go up and check that uh, double I so that it doesn't get confused be like number two who the f is number two you know we we don't want to get it confused and ladies and gentlemen i have a whole lot of stuff i need to do this morning uh, like i said the last couple of days have been very interesting and so what i'm gonna do is copy this 
And then there is one more question I have to ask. Wake up. Can you demonstrate what the code would look like implementing the aforementioned features? Question mark. Stop listening. And thus, it completes its code. I'm going to let it finish, and I'll finish this up later. And let's see. Does he do what he's supposed to do? Hold on, y'all. Wake up. Could you show me what the code would look like? with those minor changes that you suggested? Question mark. Stop listening. He suggested that it'd even be more better if I put some did some minor changes. So now I get Stop listening. I'll get him to show me the code with the minor changes. Okay? And now I just go back and forth as you can see the code is now descriptive and easier to follow the functions are also more concise and easier to understand ta-da ladies and gentlemen this is how you can get chat gpt if you're looking on building websites looking on building this or building that and you never understood how to do it i could have had it reading to you but it'd be reading all of this stuff and there's no reason for you guys to be going through all of this now the last conversation I was having with it was on the, um, no, I can get rid of this one. This is a different one for now because the blockchain one. I was doing the Federal Reserve Act, ladies and gentlemen, and I did find the Federal Reserve Act, the thing on bankers, and there's uh, quite a bit that I found within the act, especially the thing about issuing securities. And any member of the Federal Reserve System or any branch thereof uh, who is lawfully serving blah, 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 blah. Okay, I am going over that, but I do have the codes, the document that the Federal Reserve, let's go right here, Section 414. Okay, we'll go right here. This is exactly what I was talking about. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Uh-oh, I can't make it. I'm supposed to be able to make this bigger, but this is a added window. And so it's not letting me do it. But anyway, the Federal Reserve, the government, to have the right to, through the Federal Reserve agent, to grant in whole or in part or reject entirely applications for Federal Reserve banks for Federal Reserve notes. But to the extent that such application may be granted, the Federal Reserve Board shall, through the local Federal Reserve agent, supply Federal Reserve notes to the bank so applying. To supply Federal Reserve notes to the bank so applying. So... Pay attention, those of you who stay to the end of this video. Those of you who have promissory notes, remember, Federal Reserve Circular Number 10, Appendix Number 3, has been applied to your loan. Whenever you get a loan involving a home, a car, student loan, goes to the Federal Reserve Act. When you're dealing with a local Federal Reserve agent, meaning one of those banks, one of those local banks, because you're dealing with a local bank, they have to apply the Federal Reserve Act. They do the Federal Reserve Circular Number 10, Appendix Number 3. Why? Because that is Federal Reserve Operating Circular. That's how the Federal Reserve operates. So because they apply to the Federal Reserve on your behalf, look at Appendix Number 3, on your behalf, ladies and gentlemen, they're receiving Federal Reserve notes. You can find it in Title 12, Section 414. It's all right there. It's been right there. The section where this is located well, it's not going to be 82 stat 50. That's not where it's going to be. The June 12th, 1945 Act, the one that I've been talking about, 40, um, what is it, 59 stat 3, 37. Now, I haven't, I think I have looked at 49 stat 704. That's the section that you just saw me at. Okay, it's not there. Okay, you see, it's not there. So they didn't do a change there. And I'm going, I've gone all the way back. And so back in the time. And so 48 stat 338, 
Let's try 48 stat 338. That's going to be one of them. Let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of that. Uh, not that. Go down. Get out of here. All right. So we're going to go real quick. We ain't going to stay here. Three, three, eight. Okay, third sentence. This talks about removing certain sentences, and none of them talks about your Federal Reserve notes. I've already been through here. See, Federal Reserve Bank should require each Federal Reserve Bank to maintain deposit with the Federal Reserve, blah, blah, blah. That's all this talks about. If you go to the next page, okay. Upon request of the Treasury, reduce liability, delivery, and gold certificates, Treasury, Federal Reserve Board, blah, 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 liability, and all that. I've already gone through this, and it doesn't say what the other one said, but this one did speak about the advancement of Federal Reserve notes. The collateral security thus offered shall be notes, drafts, bills of exchange, acceptances acquired under the provision of the Act. Then we go down to section number four. This is the part to the extent dream necessary by the Secretary of the Treasury, and this is the part about them issuing Federal Reserve notes. Okay, section number four. This is section 414. Okay. And redemption funds and lawful money. Oh, Lord, those redemption people, where did they come from? So there you go. This is how you document the fact that they were supposed to see it says the board should have the right acting through the federal reserve agent to grant in whole or in part or to reject entirely the application of any federal reserve bank for federal reserve notes but to the extent that such application may be granted a federal reserve board so ladies and gentlemen this is 48 stat 343 i will try i'll put the link for this underneath the video so that you can go here directly. I'll put the link underneath the video. Okay. Let's do 48 stat. And if you can see my screen. You can see all of these 38 stat 368. So it's 365 to 369. You definitely want to go look at that. Okay. You definitely want to go look at that. Hold on. I got to see which one this is. 338. Three three eight held by banking institutions. Oh no, this ain't securities and stocks held. Um, Dag nabbit, give me one second. Wake up. Federal Reserve Act, comma issuing Federal Reserve notes to private banking institutions stop listening remember under presidential proclamation 2039 each of you there's a side note are private banking institutions under the law if you understood what Truman did and you understood the presidential proclamation 2039 still being extant and the Federal Reserve amendment of March 9, 1933 still being extant, meaning still in effect, then you will know how to utilize the private banking institution. When they talked about private bankers, most people get shot down because they don't know how to address private bankers uh, when it comes to addressing private bankers. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope that the information provided here is beneficial for you understanding how to utilize the chat bots to take care of the things you need to take care of again one we need to go to is this one because we never went back to this one but as I told you he provided a completed code and then we had this one going and as you can see this one provided the code that's how you do it oh sorry and then you see I have the desktop chat GPT and so I have the desktop and the web version now even though the desktop version you can get just type in chat GPT desktop or PC version and you can get the github download for the desktop now with the desktop watch this wake up wake up please comma 
check the following code and tell me what you think. And could you show me a sample of the code with the improvements you suggest? Question mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, had I gone through with ChatGPT by itself, this would have taken forever. Okay, literally, this would have taken forever. You saw how it was taking hours to do that? I've already done what I would have done in an hour with ChatGPT in less than 25 minutes. So it's cut the time in half by using both softwares together to create something that ChatGPT would have given me such a hard time doing. Well, it's telling me I can't do this and I can't do that, but by having the code already generated, it just helps me improve it. It'll tell you that it can't provide me a completed code, but now it's completing the code. Okay, so this ain't complete. And watch this. This is the last thing. See how it says there are a few issues with the code I provided? Now I'm going to tell ChatGPT that as if I'm talking to him. So I'm using ChatGPT to talk, I mean, uh, Bard to talk to ChatGPT and ChatGPT to talk to Bard. They're going to eventually come up with something to prevent that. But while, until they figure this out, okay, because nobody thinks the way I do. I'm sorry. I, I, I know I ain't all that. You're a narcissist. I'm a mama cyst. Yo, mama. Uh, no, ladies and gentlemen. Think about it. Did you think about doing this? Well, that doesn't mean you're the first person to do it. Show me another video that does that. Watch this. Wake up. Wake up. Can you now show me the revised code incorporating the aforementioned parameters? Comma, I really appreciate that. Question mark. Stop listening. And in a minute, ta-da. So, ladies and gentlemen, in 30 minutes, less than 30 minutes, I will have a completed code that I can continue to revise and revise and revise and implement and then put out there the way it's supposed to be. Okay? And watch this. I got to go up at that top. And the reason why I went up to the top, copy. I go back here to ChatGPT, which provided the code, and I go here, and I do that. Now, ChatGPT is going to compete against ChatGPT. Say what? ChatGPT is going to compete against ChatGPT. The answers in this ChatGPT is the same ChatGPT that I'm in there. Now, there are a few issues with the code that need to be addressed in order to be more security. And this is what I put, and I go back and forth, and it provides me an example of the code. Okay. And ta-da. And just back and forth until they finally tell me, hey, you know what? That's it. That's what you need. That's what you asked for. You got it. Now leave us alone. You know, that's what I'm looking for, is for it to finally say, man, that's what I need. So... And now, since it told me, I take this part. And copy. And I, I stop. Because I don't have to go any further. Because it's already provided an answer. So it's going to let me know. I believe these changes make the code more secure and prevent an attack from exploiting. It says I've added the functions called check and balances. The check will surrender enough funds to make the transaction. The function is called for. So he's saying he did what he was supposed to do. Thank you for the ejection. I've made the following changes to the code. Okay, so now. Wake up. Can you show me? An example of the implementations? Question mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. 30 minutes.